Well, it is an amazing organization, and I am proud, very honored to be hosting the first Winter Gala next Saturday. So please welcome Alicia Mikic Milano from, she is the founder of Lost Hearts Foundation. And Alicia, I know that this is something that is near and dear to your heart. And as soon as I heard about what you were doing, I wanted to get involved. So yeah. I would love to first kind of let our viewers know what the foundation is all about. So as we've talked about before, Natalie, um, our foundation is really to help children live their normal after the loss of a parent. So um, if that could be helping financially take care of a summer camp cost, it could be extracurricular activities for their sporting events, it could be if they need a new pair of cleats, uh, it could be as small as that, it could be activities around uh, for academics. So anything that kind of entails those types of things is what we're trying to help children live their normal with. It is amazing. Yeah. And I think that, you know, you don't really understand what it's like until you go through something like this. And that's why you started it, because this has yeah. personally touched you. Yeah. Um, I had friends growing up that actually had lost parents at young ages. And of course, it's hard because you want to be there for them. And I never quite understood uh, until I was also in their shoes. And there's nothing like it. And it changes you forever. And um, your beautiful family, there, <laughs> your brothers and sisters, and, yeah. and your mom was she was stunning. I see so much of you <laughs> in her uh, when you. I look at those pictures. And you were 23 yep. when it happened. Mm -hmm. And um, I know I was just last year for me when it happened. But and then I think to myself, I can't be selfish. There are kids who lose a, ch a parent when they are five years old, eight years old. Um, and the stories yeah. that you hear, and I I think what's great about it is. People reach out to you after hearing about this organization, yeah. and you help to change lives. Yeah, I think um, this week alone has been a huge eye opener for me. It's been an emotional roller coaster. Just uh, hearing other stories, people that I don't know, uh, reaching out through email, messaging, hearing text messages or screenshots from people that I know, um, and to me that means we're making we're making a difference. Uh, we're giving those voices a voice, and I think that's extremely important. Um, I think a lot of people keep it tucked away. And they feel alone. They do. They f you feel know, you, so you, you get in this place where you don't even realize, you feel like I'm going through this on my own. Yeah. And you don't have to. No, and you so don't. So how, what kind of people have reached out to you? How do people reach out to you? Um, I mean, anyone's really welcome. Yeah, everybody's welcome. Um, in fact, everybody's welcome to join us for the gala. Um, this is an open invitation to everyone, um, anybody, really, family, friends. But um, you can, you can, um, Here's a look at the gala yeah. real quick, and I, since we have it up, um, I want to remind everybody, so again, it's it's happening Saturday, January 18th mm -hmm. at the St. Paul Hellenic Center in North Royalton. I, again, am honored. I, it's just weird to even see my name being host of it. Like, it's, <laughs> it's just, it's, it's a real, pleasure. Natalie. It is a pleasure for me. We see so many great organizations that come through here, and this one is just really near and dear to my heart in yeah. any way that I can help. I want to be a part of yeah. and we would love to see you that yeah. night. I would love to welcome you and, and be a part of this amazing event. Um, you're giving back to kids in a way that it's so touching. It gives them a piece of their normal, their little piece of their world of normal. I love what you're doing. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I said this before when I talked to her about this. I know that your mother is looking down on you and so <laughs> proud of what you were doing. Thank you, it's, Natalie. It's a beautiful thing. And again, so if you if you want to go, that event is next, it's Saturday the 18th. Yep. But if, if people can't go and they still want to get involved in some way with the organization, how do they do that? So you can absolutely do that. You can go to our website and donate uh, there. You're also welcome to contact us. It's info at thelosthearts.org. Uh, you had mentioned mention asked earlier how can they get a hold of us. Directly through our website is the easiest way um, and absolutely can make donations through there. You're making a difference. Thank you. She'd love to hear your stories. If, yeah. you, if you feel that you've been affected by this, please yep. reach out to her. Yes. You, you are in it. Email you are us. in it. Yeah. And you're, you're such a wonderful soul. You really are. It's Thank you. so good to have you here. Can't wait to see you on the yep. 18th and can't wait to see you on the 18th as well.